Hey, horror fans, once again, it is me, the Horror Miser Money G. It's time to review another horror movie. It is now the found footage horror film called Dashcam. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, Dashcam is a 2021 computer screen horror film. It was directed by Rob Savage. It was written by Rob Sh Savage, Gemma Hurley, and Jed Shepard. Now, the film stars Annie Hardy, Angela Inaharo, Amber Chatta Patel, Gemma, and Gemma Moore. Now, in this film, two film two friends embark on a horror feud road trip and live stream the most terrifying night on their lives. Why do you people do this? Turn the camera off. Survive, please. Now, you know, one of the more interesting aspects that have come from found footage horror films are computer screen films. Horror films such as Unfriended and its sequel, The Host and The Den, are prime examples of this subgenre and its growing popularity. You know, with the advancement of technology, it's easy for filmmakers to take iPhones, webcams, go cams, or even dash cams it can, because it can cut production costs and you can make a decent horror film in it. Now, this is what Rob Savage, uh, who directed the computer horror screen film called Host, brings us with his later entry into the subgenre called dash cam now in this setup we have annie hardy a social media influencer who live streams a show called band car on the internet now she basically basically drives around in her car filming the show on either a go cam or a dash cam in her car while rapping what she's seeing and using some very explicit lyrics i mean <laughs> she would probably have the guys from nwa blush at some of the lyrics that she says in the songs that she raps now, tired of the lockdown restrictions during the early days of the COVID-19 pandemic, the MAGA-loving anti-vaxxer Annie decided to travel to the UK to visit one of her bandmates, bandmates called Stretch. Now, of course, causing a ruckus and stealing her friend's car, Annie stops at a restaurant and is offered lots of money to deliver a sick, healthy-looking woman named Angela to a certain address. What happens next will have Annie and her friend Stretch fighting for their lives as Angela isn't what she seems to be. Ooh, ooh, can't trust anybody. Now, just like with the host, Rob takes full advantage of the dash cam, iPhone, or gold cameras. We get several excellent shots from Annie's point of view of what's happening around her, whether she's uh, live streaming and talking to the camera, talking to her uh, friends that are streaming on, you actually will see on the left side of the screen all the comments people are making to what saying to what she's doing. Um, if she gets out of the car, she has a go cam on top of her cap. We can see her all the elements, what's going around, what's going around, what she's watching. Uh, that's one of the great uh, effects that you have when you film a film like this. So you know, like I said, it cuts down production costs. You don't have all this other stuff. Everything is done either on their dash cam, the go cam, or an iPhone. Unfortunately, this also means we get the typical shaky cam or bouncy that we see in most found footage films, especially when Annie starts running, falling, crawling away from what's chasing her and stretch. I mean, it does make it very difficult at times to see what's happening because unfortunately, when she falls down, you know, all you see is her tumbling around. When she's crawling around, you just see the ground on the floor. When she's crawling around the ground, you really don't give a good sense of what's happening. So that's one of the problems uh, when you do a film like this. Now, we do get some nice jump scares, but then again, some of them are cliche, and we can see them coming a mile away, but there are some decent jump scares that we do have, and I'm not going to say what they are right there, but uh, while some you can see coming a mile away, there are some decent jump scares. Uh, there are some disgusting things that happen with Angela, which I won't discuss here, but I'm pretty sure if you've seen the film, you know what I'm talking about right here. Uh, yeah, like I said, some of the horror aspects, like I said, some of the jump scares are cliche. But some of the other aspects, as opposed to what's happening with Angela and what's happened to Ang uh, Annie and Stretch around them, are pretty effective. Uh, if there is a problem with this film, and the main problem that I do have with the film is Annie herself, because she is selfish, she's arrogant, and doesn't think, and doesn't think what her action can do to the others around her. You know, she is very self-centered. Um, the way she, Annie, portrays the character, like I said before, uh, she's definitely into some of the conspiracy theories uh, that's going on with the early days of the pandemic. She has no respect for anybody else. She only cares about herself. And it gets to the point where you simply just don't like the character at all. Now, I don't have a problem with a protagonist that has some moral morality issues, such as Annie's lyrics, or even if the character is an anti-hero. 
However, you do want to have a character to have some redeeming qualities that would make the audience pull for the character to survive any ordeal they find themselves in. Unfortunately, you really don't seem to get that with Annie because the moment you think that she's going to do something great, she does something despicable, and you just like, what? In you know what? I can't wait for her to die. She's got to go. She's got to go. I can't stand her. And like I said before, you simply just don't get that with Annie. Uh, this character is so horrible, so self-centered. The audience will want to see something bad happen to her. And I can understand that. Uh, I think um, uh, Jen and Christian from Jen's Reviews and Crave say they couldn't stand her at all. They didn't like what she was rapping. Uh, they hated the character so much. <laughs> Jen just said, she's got to die, die, die. And I can understand that. Uh, from their point of view, because that's how terrible Anne is as a character. Now, from what I've heard about Anne Hardy, because that's her real name in real life, and she, even though she's called Annie here, she's also Annie Hardy in real life, I believe that she has a YouTube channel where she drives around the car broadcasting live streams, so it's no surprise as Rob Savage cast her as a lead here. But when you do have a character that is so unlikable as Annie is, it's going to undercut some of the better aspects of the film, which I did enjoy. Like I said, Despite how bad and how unlikable Andy is in this film, the horror aspects and what's happening to Angela and, you know, what's going on in the film, those are pretty good. You know, Rob did, did a masterful job in making sure that I don't know if this was by design that he told Annie to act this way because he wanted people to hate the character because I'm assuming that's how he and his writing partners made up the character uh, when they were writing this up that the, she was going to be so unlikable. That the fact is that you look at the horror elements of the film and they're excellent. I mean, they're pretty good. Like I said, there are some very disgusting moments. Uh, there are some very tripped out moments. Like I said, it's very uh, in your face horror moments here. The film is only about an hour and 20 minutes, I think. It's not that long. Host was just over, just about, just barely an hour. This one is about an hour and maybe 20 minutes, maybe 15, I think. The runtime was an hour and 19, if I remember when the, the version I saw. Uh, but it's very visual. It's in your face. It's nonstop. Now, again, I'm not criticizing Anne Hardy's performance here because displaying a fictionalized version of herself, she does a pretty good job in driving everyone else she encounters crazy. Now, I can see why some people will not like this film, but I did find it entertaining because there are some decent, hard-hitting visual imagery, and I like the truth about Angela when that is revealed. But unfortunately, I don't know if anyone else is going to like this film mainly because of how unlikable Andy is. Uh, and, you know, you really should have a protagonist that you should have some empathy for. And I don't think no one's not going to have any empathy for Annie. But like I said, I enjoyed the film. It's decent. <laughs> I had a good time watching it. Uh, one of the interesting aspects of the film is the uh, uh, the credit scene where uh, Annie raps about all the people who made the film. So I actually like that nice little touch uh, in the in the film. I don't know whose idea was it, but I thought it was decent because it's it's something different. And I don't mind when writers of the film and even the actors who participate in the film do something different. That's what I like seeing. Uh, how I would rank this film, I had a very difficult time trying to rank this film because, like I said, you have a character that is so unlikable and it kind of takes away some of the aspects of the film. But then again, the horror aspects are decent. I mean, this is, like I said before, it's not a bad horror film at all. I, I really did enjoy uh, watching it. But trying to rank this film, it's kind of difficult for me to rank it. Uh, I saw Emma's uh, Spooky Astronaut. She had the same problem trying to rank this film. But uh, you know what? What the hell? I'm going to give this film three out of my five bloody gold coins. Three out of my five bloody gold coins. Sorry, Jen and Christian, but I like this one. <laughs> So there you have it. That is my review and video for Dash Cam. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up, like, and share because that, that'll help out with the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you have seen Dash Cam, uh, Dash Cam, <laughs> uh, please leave a comment in the comment section below and tell you what you thought about the film. Also, if you're new here, please hit that subscriber button and ring that notification bell. That way you'll be notified anytime when I put a new video such as this one. Once again, my name is Lamont Smith, better known as a horror miser, Monty G, and always remember that horror rules. <laughs> and I'll see you in my next video. I'm out.